okay, the night of this situation, there's been a lot of talk about exactly what y'all were up to in that moment, whether it was a robbery or if there was somebody that basically paid y'all to go do something. How would you describe what was going on that night? Maybe even just like take us through the day if you want. Well, I'm not finna get into detail about too much. Exactly, Adam. Why is you asking that man about the details of the crime that took Pop Smoke's life? Why is you getting into details, man? Jesus Christ. Your boy Adam 22 is out here acting like Detective Mason from the first 48. But were you guys fans of Pop Smoke at the time? Like to be keeping up with his page? And like, was it through Mike D's page or Pop Smoke that the logo got dropped? I didn't know him at all. I didn't know of him. I probably seen one picture of him before and just like, I thought he was a model. Man, I can't watch this no more, y'all. I can't watch this, man. Mm -mm -mm. Man, it's your boy DP100, and you is not watching 100 TV, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Man, oh man, oh man. Today we got some crazy news about your boy Adam22. So one of the individuals that was involved with taking Pop Smoke's life has just came out of jail. Yes, the boy only spent like four years in jail for taking Pop Smoke's life, y'all. And guess where he had went? That boy ain't even going spend a night with his woman yet. As soon as this boy came home, that boy went straight up the no jumper adam 22 man come on man you should be ashamed of yourself you was rich you make a lot of money you didn't have to do this interview right here this interview could have been canceled bro why is you interviewing the boy that took pop smoke's life you feel me because the message that you was giving these kids is that they could take someone's life and they will be rewarded just come on down and no jumper we have a voice for you you know what I'm saying? The message that you were showing these kids today, this is not good, Adam. You did not have to do this interview. All money is not good money, bro. This boy done took a superstar life, man. Pop Smoke was a living legend, bro. That boy was on to do great things. He was minding his own business. He was in Cali. He was in the hills chilling. And look what y'all did, man. Y'all little whippersnappers came in there, robbed that boy and took his life. And now you get to be on a big platform like No Jumper? Come on, Adam. Even DJ Academic said he is not going to interview this little boy. Because how can you reward this boy right here by giving him a voice to speak to the whole world? Nobody want to hear that. Now, what about Pop Smoke's family? His mother is mourning, grieving every day because she lost her son, man. And look, you going to bring this guy on no jumper. What you trying to do, Adam? There is so much rappers right now that dream of going on your platform so they could promote their music. But you were using your platform for the wrong thing. Why do you have this young boy on your platform asking him about the details of what happened that night when he took Pop Smoke's life? Like, what are you really trying to get here? Is it that important for you to get views, Adam? Because you are pretty rich right now. You didn't have to take this interview, bro. Mm -mm -mm. But it makes sense, though, because Adam, you know, I'm pretty sure that man never been in no funerals. That man has never lost no cousins, no brothers, no friends to no street violence like that, man. So Adam doesn't know the pain. You feel me? Because if he knew the pain, he would not be moving like this, man. I send my condolences to Pop Smoke's family. It's just a sad situation. We will always remember Pop Smoke, but we're not going to remember Pop Smoke like this. But tell me how y'all feel about this, man. Was your boy Adam wrong? Let me know in the comments, man. It's 100 TV. You are now watching 100 TV, where we always keep it 100 over here. No clickbait, no cab news, just real authentic content. The 100 West.